Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. It's that time of year again where Fullers have churned out their Vintage Ale 2022 8.5% ABV again in the lovely presentation box. I managed to get this one direct from the brewery but it's soon to be dropping in Waitrose over the next few weeks I should imagine. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I, I love dabbling about with these vintage ales. What I normally do is I'll review one and then buy one and put it up and forget about it. So anyway, I will reel the spiel on the back of this one. The annual limited edition brew Fuller's Vintage Ale is the most special beer to leave our Griffin Brewery each year. Every vintage ale recipe is unique from the last 2022 brings a splendid vintage ale with its own distinct character, mixing the best traditional Tastes with new hop varieties, pale ale and caragold malts combined with DRC, a double roasted crystal malt. Um, to deliver toffee and raisin sweetness, meanwhile Target, Bramling Cross and Emperor hops provide spice and pronounced citrus notes. So yeah, okay, I mean I think last year it was a corner and an experimental hop, which for the life of me I can't remember what it was. So let's see what this year brings. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's a little bit left in the bottle. I'll tip that in in a bit. Bit in the glass, then a nice, a nice copper colour. You can see carbonation kicking up on uh, a fluffy, just slightly, ever so slightly off white head. Nice and spacious, lumpy, bumpy sort of jobber. Oh, it's just got that lovely autumnal sort of vibe to it. There is dates and raisins. A little bit of booze. There's a yeah, I do get a little bit of citrus coming up. Yeah, let's dive in. Cheers. All right. Ooh. Going again. It's all fast and quick. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of carbonation in there from from the the, the mouthfeel that I'm getting. But you've got to begin with. You've got a nice sort of roasty, sort of prune date sort of thing to it, or as they say, raisins. And then you get a quick snap of citrus in there in the middle. That's got a bit of bitterness attached to it. Yeah, you're getting a citrus bitterness on the finish a bit. Lingering bitterness as well. Nice sweetness in there as well. That's um, keeping everything in place a little bit. But it took me by surprise with that citrus snap in there. Very, very sharp. But pleasant. Nice. I get a little bit of warming sensation when it all goes down the down the hatch. So I'm guessing that's a little bit of the 8.5% ABV coming into play a little bit, but it really don't taste boozy other than the warmth that I'm getting. The comforting warmth that you get from these vintage ales. It's lovely and smooth, soft. I mean, it's just, I've, I've said before on the previous years, this is a this is an armchair beer. Switch off. I've had a crap day at work today dealing with in traffic everywhere. And it's just nice to switch off and have a decent beer in your hand. That it is. It's fantastic. I mean it's only gonna get better and better with age. Like I say, I buy one for review 
and then I put one up and just forget about it. Cracking stuff. Yeah, fruity raisin sort of figgy sort of vibe to it. And then a, a nice sharp citrus snap in there with a little bit of bitterness on the arse end of it. Decent. Yeah, decent stuff. Fuller's, their vintage ale 2022, 8.5% as per usual. It'll be coming into Waitrose soon. See you on my next one. Cheers.